Remove the valve cap by pressing down on the tabs of each side with one hand and removing the cap with the other hand. Open the hinge valve by pulling open the clasp. Place your right thumb beside the clasp to apply pressure and assist with opening the valve. Then separate the cylinder from the valve. Remove the collar stop by popping the tabs out of each hole on each side of the cylinder and then sliding the collar stop under the retaining clip in the back. After the collar stop is removed, you can pull the plunger completely out of the cylinder. The last step is to remove the o-ring, which is a little tricky. You do this by pushing on each side of the o-ring and pushing up a little bit, and then using your other finger to pull that o-ring down into the section below. Lubricate the o-ring with silicone. Spread one drop of lubricant around the o-ring with finger. Do not over lubricate the o-ring. Then put the o-ring in the section above. Insert the plunger in the cylinder. Make sure you push straight into the cylinder and not on an angle. Insert the collar stop on the end and make sure both sides go into the hole. This ensures that the plunger will not be completely removed. Place valve liner inside the valve by aligning the internal ridges. Close the valve and ensure the tabs extending from the sides of the liner are on both sides of the valve. Snap the valve cap on the top of the valve by following the ridges on the side. Push the cylinder into the base of the valve. Just make sure that you are not twisting or turning the cylinder as you insert it.